Not to be vulgar, but it's it was like fucking an ex-girlfriend. But well, you mean with Connie for or like with uh, the type of negative, you mean? Well, you know, fucking the band over, you know, yeah. literally. <laughs> uh, well, with uh, I didn't mean it with you know Carnivore, but uh, now that you mention it, yes, with you know Carnivore too. But I I didn't realize how much I, I had missed playing with Typo mm. until last week. Yes, so it was it was really you know refreshing. You know? How was your reaction to the new songs for the for the public then? Well, we didn't play any um, new songs live because that uh, that's my policy. Because I I remember going to see my very first rock show, which was Black Sabbath at Madison Square Garden, August twenty seventh of nineteen seventy nine, where seventy eight. Right. Oh, right. Oh. <laughs> you're, you're a date guy, or not? I'm the date. chronicle. I wonder, why I, I wonder why I can't remember things anymore. <laughs> but I remember the Sabbath played some some songs off of um, Never Say Die. And I had seen them at Madison Square Garden, which is notorious for really bad acoustics. But at the time, I was like, I had no idea what the, what they were even playing, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and you want to hear songs you know. Lyrics you? Are, are also very important. And like, you know, somebody with an MP3 player or something, you know, records it, it gets on the internet, and people are going to say, wow, you know, the new song sounds like shit. Mm-hmm. And, and they're going to say that based upon the acoustics. At this point right now, um, speaking of like you know downloading, uh, we're gonna download which song? I don't know yet. That's still being debated. We're gonna we're, we're gonna, gonna leak a song out. out. Yeah, we're gonna leak a song out so that it, not, right, okay. it, I don't think it's gonna be available for download, but you'll be able to like go to our website and, and, hear, and it. hear it. Yeah. Something like you know a little like I guess like teaser right. like you know to, yeah, to, to you, know, you know for fans. for hard for hardcore fans. Do you, see, do you see still new fans coming up like little kids and and do you see it like di- different type? You know we we we've actually um. Uh, discovered something very, very quite interesting lately within this band that encompasses string, quantum, and chaos theory. When we we can't decide what to do, mm. we flip a coin. <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear to God, we, this is true. Been, yeah, this is true. It was like we've, been, we've decisions... been arguing for the last 17 years. Somebody yeah. give me a quarter yeah. or, or euro or something. Yeah. Like, all right, hits. Yeah. All right, yeah, okay. Well, we'll it down. then we'll play you know dead again tonight. You know instead of. Hey, there's one song uh, with Tara Van Flower, almost mm. a Dutch name. Um, we don't know, I don't know her. Could you tell who she is? And she's in a band uh, called Alicia. Back in like 1990, um, when I was going through through my little goth, you know, trance dance phase and stuff, I was into this band. I I still am into this band called uh, Lycia, and uh, they're this couple. They are friends of mine from uh, I think Denver. Is it? She's got a really you know. Um, a beautiful voice and from time to time we we do like to put in an, an actual female element mm-hmm. it, into the music you know it's a nice little yeah. break from you know my voice all the time so <laughs> and there was this one part in the song Halloween in Heaven where it felt mm-hmm. right you know you wanted a, a female voice and yeah. so they they got Tara to do it 2007 what's coming up because the album's coming out in March you're going to probably do a US tour first yeah. and then we're hitting the road. Uh, I just got the routings. Nothing's been uh, confirmed 100% yet, but uh, it looks like it's starting in the last week of March. We start in the States, and then that'll wrap up like the last week in May, mm-hmm. and then we'll have a couple of weeks off. Then we're coming to, uh, looks like we're going to be coming to Europe. All right. You know, doing festivals. Yeah, and, anything and confirmed already for? Because we have some festivals n- coming up. I saw, I just got the routing yesterday, and I'm not sure if anything's really confirmed, so I don't want to say, yes, we're going to oh, be yeah. at this right. festival. Just check out the website. Find, and then find out that, like, you know, something fell through for yeah, whatever no, reason. It's on you know, I hope it. not, but there's, like, a, there's a lot of cool festivals that we're, you know, that we're in line to do. <clears> and, uh... We'll probably stay here. It looks like we're going to stay here possibly between four and five weeks. And if we stay here for five weeks, it'll be the longest European trip that the band has ever done. Cool. And you're going to stay some days here in, in Amsterdam then? Undoubtedly. Oh, uh, <laughs> man, I hope so. <laughs> okay. Johnny loves Amsterdam. I just, I just don't, don't like being by the canal. Right. <laughs> Too many people get, they get pushed in at night. Excellent. I don't want to be one of them. But I don't, I don't, I don't smoke. Oh. But no, I don't smoke. Oh, weed, but you mean? All right. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. But I, I love the city, mm. and uh, you know, I love just hanging out in the bars, and <laughs> the, the food here is great. And I've, I've hit like all the museums in the past and stuff, and all it's right. just, it's just a very free place, you know. Oh, it's, cool. it, and I, I admire that a lot about it. Hey, thanks, guys, and enjoy. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thanks.